And I just finished the truck up, man. And I'm looking at it right now. And <laughs> Boy, dude, this looks so mean, bro. Oh my gosh. Travel on your own on a bed to bed to bed to trip. On a bed to bed to bed to trip. On a bed to bed to bed to trip. What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Q, man. I'm back with another video. So I finally got all the pieces in to the uh, new mod that I'm gonna be doing. It's over here in the corner. So actually I'm gonna go ahead and do the unboxing um, to let you all see it. But this is just gonna be one video. It won't be a separate video. So this is kind of be the beginning of the video. And then I'm gonna do the install as well. So <clears throat> let me check it out um, and basically show you all how it comes packaged, man, so you all can see it. All right, here we go. <clears throat> LED bulbs. So with it being LED bulbs, you'll probably know what it is. But these are actually for the uh, ball lights. So replacing the ball light with some LED bulbs, you know, get rid of that old halogen looking thing. So here's the two bulbs right here. Bulbs, excuse me. And they're plug and play, as you can see. LEDs for the new headlight kit that I got. So these are, what's that? Nino 902 LED light. So the H7s, which is what I had to get to fit with the aftermarket headlight um, assembly. And they did come with bulbs, but they were still gonna be your factory standard uh, halogen yellow bulbs. So I decided to go ahead and just replace those. Nice and black. Uh, Here's your, oh wow, these are pretty cool. So hopefully I know what I'm doing to plug these in there. So they should be plug and play as well. I do have a concern with these. Since they're by two different um, manufacturers, I am concerned if they're gonna be the same level of brightness or whiteness. I hope one that looks blue and one looks white and white and blue. So I am concerned with that, but um, if, if, if it is, you know, I just won't run my fall lights all the time. I'll just run my regular daytime lights. But uh, fingers crossed with that. Now eventually, once I get to it, because this package pretty good. <clears throat> so as you can tell, looking at the back, you probably can tell what it is. <laughs> oh, there it is. Yep, that's right. So I did go ahead and get the Enzo switchback headlights. Um, so basically it's more like the Raptor look for the headlights. But man, this thing is huge. Look, this, look at, <clears throat> just gonna put it in perspective. So see it on the truck, it doesn't look as big. You see headlights, these headlights. So this is the same headlight on the on the Ford now. This just has a different design. But you don't realize how big this thing is on the truck until you take it out. Like look, compared to my head, look how big this is. This thing is huge. Tells you here it says H7 here as well. So it's H7 bulb. Your two wires here. This is the actually wire to switch back function. This is it. Ta da! As you can see. So this, like I said, this is gonna change the whole look of the truck. So here's what you're gonna need to actually do the. Uh, I'm glad they got this. This is what you're gonna need to do the actual switch back function. To, so what I mean by switch back is basically when you turn your signal lights on, it's going to turn amber. So the signal lights be amber and then soft is gonna be your LED bright white lights. Yeah, I'm excited about this, and so I'll catch y'all when I'm outside um, doing the install. All right, so here we go, guys. I got everything all set to go. So as you can see here, the bulb here, both uh, headlights here, got my gimbal, got the fog lights, and I got the uh, LED low beams. I didn't do the high beams, just the low beams. Got my tools down there. Definitely recommend. All right, what's going on everybody? I'm outside at the truck. You see you got it open here. So really quick, I just want to explain brief, briefly what you have to do to get this whole thing uh, done. I'm gonna try to show you as I go, but uh, real quick, let me turn the camera around, show you what you have to remove. You definitely have to remove one, these two bolts for sure. Uh, then you have to take off this panel popper right here. Then, in order to get, you have to take this whole complete housing off. This whole thing. Let me make sure mine's in there. Okay. This whole panel comes off. So to do that, you have to start here with these, oops, these screw, 
and this screw. And it's also under my fall lights as well, and I believe they're back there somewhere. But hopefully, when I take the whole housing out, I can get to them easy. If not, I can just feel like I can just unscrew these screws as well. But we'll see once I get there uh, if I can reach it without uh, removing anything else. But once you take this pin off here, there's like seven bolts across the front here you have to take off, and then I think there's one. I can see here actually that bolt there that has to be removed as well. So that's it man that's really the removal and then the install you just put everything back the way you found it so uh i guess let's just go ahead and get to this thing i also did get a panel popper so basically you're just gonna pop the panel out on the side here and also help you take off the top the top screw up here Here's the new bolt, just like that, that's in. All right guys, so I got the um, LED fog light bulb in. So now I'm about to install the, uh, the actual headlight assembly. I finally got the switchback function to work, man. That took a lot longer than I thought. The wiring part, I did it right. It was just, you have to make sure those two clips that give you really uh, penetrate the wire. So it um, switched back so it basically whatever channels through the thing but finally got it working man uh, the next thing we just got to do is basically put everything back and we should be we should be done Just finished the truck up, man. I'm looking at it right now. <laughs> Boy, dude, this looks so mean, bro. Oh my gosh. Uh, I'm gonna turn around here for y'all can see it. I was gonna do a cinematic video, try to capture something, man, but you can see it rained all behind me. So it's been raining. It actually rained while I did it. And it actually took me, y'all don't laugh at me, man. It took me like three hours to get this darn thing in. Um, the first thing I had issue with was on the driver's side. Airplane. Still an airplane. Okay, I think it's good. So the first thing I had issue with on the driver's side, you know what? I'm just show y'all. Look at this. <laughs> look at it behind me. Dude. <laughs> Boy, that look mean like a like a like a monster coming up behind you. Imagine seeing that come behind you uh, at nighttime and come up behind you. But y'all can see. I mean, dude, I love the way it looks, man. I'm gonna get y'all get it without my big head in the way. Look at that, gee, it looks so mean. So I'm gonna flip the camera around real quick and talk about the install and what I had some issues with. It took me like three hours to get this whole thing done. With this side, the issue I had was the switchback function. So when I first did it, I switched the wires. So I had ground running to, um, the ground running to the power and the power running to the ground. And then when I flipped it, I still couldn't get it to work. The blue clips I showed you, you really have to push those down. And I did with my finger. I was trying to make sure I get it set first before I did it with the pliers, because I was scared I wouldn't be able to pull them out, but I was able to. But so when I flipped them, I mean, when I was pushing with my finger, basically it didn't cut the wire enough to activate the switch patch function. So when I got my pliers and really squeezed it, it fixed the issue. Also, if you remember back in the video, I told you there was a bolt, I mean a bolt straight back here. I try to take it out, getting it out, easy putting it back in terrible oh it took me so long to get that ball back in on this side same thing trying to get that ball back in straight back from where it's located if, if you have like a magnet screwdriver not screwdriver or a ratchet magnet on it that's going to help you out tremendously because every time I try to get it to the hole it will fall now the install getting everything off like getting everything off i mean off getting all this off the headlight out that was super easy. That was easy. This, the LEDs were very, very easy. Because once I got the headlight out, it made a whole bunch of space to get this out. So I highly recommend if you're going to do your fog lights, or you're going to do your headlights, go ahead and do your LED lights as well. It's just going to make it way easier. Hey, let's go about wrap this video up, man. I hope y'all enjoyed it. You, I mean, 
it's something about when you do something yourself the gratification you get knowing you did it you know what i'm saying i try to learn and do stuff around the truck i probably do my own oil changes as well because since the truck is already lifted i can get on there easier i'm just happy it came out you know just like i said you do it yourself like man you take a little pride that you did that you know hopefully y'all saw the install I, I figured my body was kind of blocking it as well because i didn't position the camera right but hopefully y'all see it again it's just Righty tighty lifty loosey man that's really what it was for the most part the wiring isn't hard you know just make sure you clamp those clamps on there and other than that man i'm, I'm happy the way it turns out i hope y'all like it too but uh that's all i got man y'all stay tuned for the next one this probably will be the last huge mod i do i mean honestly cosmetically i don't think there's anything else i want to do to the truck on the outside i mean i thought about plastic dipping the four uh emblems here i tried to do it actually it was a huge fail well it was a big time fail so y'all didn't see that video i actually recorded i was going to show you all that it was a huge fail but uh i don't think i probably do is plastic dip these maybe get them or order some uh, black badges and other than that man as far as from the outside of the truck i think i might be done with it i mean i think i might be done i thought about maybe getting the brake calipers uh different color maybe yellow red and yellow you know you see like on the ferraris and all that stuff but i don't know we'll see about that but other than that, one thing i probably really want to do is a cold air intake and the exhaust let me know what y'all think about the exhaust man because with the ecoboost v6 uh 3.5 liter man it sounds i don't like the way it sounds personally it sounds like a pissed off bumblebee <laughs> but uh i could be wrong so maybe a muffler delete i don't know so let me know if y'all got any suggestions any videos i can watch about with exhaust but uh definitely probably cold air intake again we are saving for a wedding so i don't know how soon that will be to come but yeah i think right now man this is how it's gonna sit um uh, this is probably how it's gonna sit for a little while. I forgot to show you all the switchback function. So the point of the switchback is what you see there. So basically when my turn signals or anything like that come on, these right here, they're gonna go uh, amber. So as you can see, or orange, whatever you wanna call it. But that's the point of the switchback. I forgot to cover that in the video. Thank y'all for watching. Appreciate y'all tuning in. If you like this video, make sure you hit the thumbs up and you smash it. If you really enjoying the content you're seeing, hey, go ahead and subscribe, man. Come hang out with your boy Q for more videos. And make sure you're sharing this video with your friends as well. Again, that was an Anzoi uh, headlight install. And just like that, man, I'll catch y'all on the next one. Peace.